Well, they're saying between 100 to 150,000. Um, I mean, it's, it's just amazing, really. I only thought about selling it three, three years ago. And I thought, well, I can't keep it hidden on top of wardrobes and in attics for, forever and ever. You know, there, there, there comes a time. And I was looking at the way pension funds were performing, uh, not too well. And uh, I'm due to retire next year. So I started to think about it, say, three, three years ago. <laughs> and um, we'd often go back to my house, which was the nearest. Paul lived about six miles out of town. I was on about a mile and a half. So we'd, um, we'd walk to my house after school, and if it was a nice day, we'd sit in the little backyard, and uh, I'd teach him the chords. In the beginning, nobody knew who Ian James was, nobody knew who McCartney was. Ian taught McCartney, uh, Paul, Sir Paul the chords, and that night they went, he played them to John Lennon, John Lennon thought, I don't know those chords, invited Sir Paul to join the quarrymen, Ian basically went home, and Sir Paul acknowledged, I think it was only three months ago, that that was the guitar, and without that guitar, there might never have been the Beatles. Well, we've had amazing interest, funnily enough, uh, we've had a lot of interest from Russia. We've had three people from Russia. We've had interest from Japan. Obviously, we've had interest from America and the UK. Often, people don't let you know until the last minute. They wait and see how things go. I personally would love it to stay in England, but because these things are becoming not just a collector's item, they're becoming investments. The value of this guitar, whoever pays, if they pay 100,000, 200, whatever price they pay, I guarantee you if that comes back on the market in five or 10 years, it will be 500,000 or a million. Yeah, we have the virtually the last notebook written by Jim Morrison, which is really important. And he died shortly after giving it to the vendor. And that has real important significance because you could see he was a troubled person from some of the words in the, you know, something like in one stage it says, I'm going to die, she won't miss me. And there's also an undiscovered lyric, a song in there, which nobody knew. And uh, that, that is really a museum piece. That should be in a museum somewhere because it is the last writings of Jim Morrison.